Hello and welcome to Calculus. In this video, we'll be solving this question. x squared minus 7x plus 11 raised to the power x squared minus 13x plus 42 equals 1. It looks daunting at first, but trust me, it's actually simple. So let's begin. So this is the first thing we'll do. We have our equation x squared minus 7x plus 11 raised to the power x squared minus 13x plus 42 equals 1. So I'm going to apply this principle that 1 to any power, any integer power equals 1, right? So 1 to the power m equals 1. 1 raised to any real number equals 1, right? So in that case, you can say we can equate x squared minus 7x plus 11 to 1, and that will satisfy the equation, right? So x squared minus 7x plus 11 equals 1 will satisfy the equation, because 1 raised to any power will equal 1. So once x squared minus 7x plus 11 is equal to 1, it means the entire equation is true, because the left-hand side will equal 1, and the right-hand side is 1. So now I have the expression x squared minus 7x plus 11 equals 1. We can solve this first. Let's group everything on one side. So we have x squared minus 7x plus 10 equals 0. We just subtracted 1 from both sides. Right? So x squared minus 7x plus 10 equals 0. Now we have to factorize this quadratic or any other solution that you got. However, I like to solve your quadratic equations. You can use that. In this case, we will factorize here. So we need a number that we need two numbers whose product is 10 and whose sum is minus 7 and it's minus 5 and minus 2. So we split minus 7 into minus 5 and minus 2. So we have x squared minus 5x minus 2x plus 10. At this point you can just factor it. You have x minus 5 in one bracket, x minus 2 in one bracket. So we have x equals 2 or x equals 5. But those are not all the solutions, that's just the first part. So we have our first two solutions, there are four more solutions we have to find. So once again we have our expression x squared minus 7x plus 11 raised to the power x squared minus 13x plus 42 equals 1. So we are going to apply a different principle this time. So this time we are going to say every real number raised to the power 0 equals 1. Right? Any real number raised to the power 0 equals 1. So in that case, once we set x squared minus 13x plus 42 equals 0, the equation will be satisfied because the left-hand side will be 1 and the right-hand side will be 1. So let's do that. x squared minus 13x plus 42 equals 0. So we can solve this quadratic for the values of x. So we want a pair of numbers whose product is 42 and whose sum is minus 13x. And that pair is minus 6 and minus 7. So you can write minus 13 as minus 6 and minus 7. So you have x squared minus 6x minus 7x plus 42 equals 0. So we can now solve this. We have x minus 6 in one bracket and x minus 7 in another bracket equals 0. So the answers are x equals 6 and x equals 7, right? x equals 6 and 7. So, so far we have 2 and 5 and now 6 and 7. But there are still more solutions to this, so let's solve the rest. So let's find the rest of the solutions. Once again, we have our expression x squared minus 7x plus 11 raised to the power x squared minus 13x plus 42 equals 1. So what we'll do this time is use a different principle, which is negative 1 raised to an even integer equals 1. Negative 1 raised to an even integer equals 1. So in this case, we can set the base to negative 1. That is x squared minus 7x plus 11 
to negative 1 and then test our answer to see if it makes the power an even integer, right? So there are two things here. We have to make sure the base is negative 1 and the power is an even integer. So we'll set the base to negative 1 and solve and then we check if the power is indeed even. If it is, it means our solution is right. So we have negative 1 raised to an even power equals 1. So that's the principle we are applying. So now we have x squared minus 7x plus 11 equals negative 1. We set the base to negative 1. Now we can solve. We can add 1 to both sides of the equation. We have x squared minus 7x plus 12 equals 0. Now we need a pair of numbers or two numbers whose product is 12 and whose sum is negative 7. And that's negative 3 and negative 4. Negative 3 times negative 4 is 12. Negative 3 plus negative 4 is minus 7. So we have that. We write minus 7 as negative 3 and negative 4. So we have x squared minus 3x minus 4x plus 12 equals 0. Right? So we can now factorize this. And we have x minus 3, x minus 4 equals 0. So we have x equals 3 and x equals 4. So x equals 3, 4. But we can't use these solutions just yet. We have to test them in the power to make sure it makes the power an even integer. If it doesn't, we have to discard it. Because we started by saying negative 1 raised to an even power equals 1. So we have to test both x's in the power to make sure it's really an even power. If it doesn't give you an even power, you have to discard the solution. It's not a right solution, right? So let's begin testing each of those answers, 3 and 4, in the power. So now what we'll do is to test the final two solutions, 3 and 4, in the power and make sure we get an even answer, an even value, right? Because we assumed that it has to be even for it to work, right? So negative 1 to an even power equals 1. So x squared minus 13 x plus 42 must equal 1 if the base is negative 1. And when the base was negative 1, we have 3 and 4 as the values of x. So I'm going to test 3 and 4 into this expression and see if it's an even integer as a result. So let's start with 3. So we place x with 3. We have 3 squared minus 13 times 3 plus 42. 3 squared is 9. 13 times 3 is 39. And then plus 42. So we have 9 minus 39 plus 42. Right? So 9 minus 39 is minus 30 and plus 42, and that will be 12. Since 12 is an even number, we can keep this solution because there's, it has to be even. So it's even means 3 is indeed a solution to that problem. So 3 is a right solution, so we can keep 3. Now let's do the same thing for 4, right? So once again, we start with our expression x squared minus 13x plus 42. x squared minus 13x plus 42. So replace x with 4. We have 4 squared minus 13 times 4 plus 42. 4 squared is 16. 13 times 4 is 52 plus 42. So we have 16 minus 52 plus 42. Minus 52 plus 42 is minus 10. And 16 minus 10 is 6. And 6 is indeed an even integer, which means 4 is also a solution to the problem, right? So 3 is correct because we have 12 in the power, which is even. And 4 is correct because we have 6 in the power, which is even. So both 3 and 4 are indeed solutions to the problem. So we started with the first approach, and we have 2 and 5 are solutions. The second one gave us 6 and 7 as solutions. The third one is giving us 3 and 4 as solutions. So I have 6 solutions to this problem. And they are 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. It's a 9 sequence. They're in order nicely. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7, right? So those are the solutions to this problem.
If you enjoyed this video and learned anything from it, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.